for some, this one in the middle of the picture is the most scary person living in Sweden. My latest video was about the Flat Earth Fool Awaken, he who thought he could prove that the Earth is flat with the video from Dover Calais. But he's not only a flat earther, he's into every damn conspiracy out there. For instance, he's very scared of Greta Thunberg. Let's have a look at a video about Greta and his claims about Greta. And in the end I will show a shorter video from him where he proves that mathematics is not his strong subject. Let's start. A flat earther that is a climate change denier. Who is surprised? So her family is well known and connected. I think I know which lies he will try to spread. No, she is not related to Adam Weishoff. And I will explain later on how I know that. Let's examine that claim. One of my hobbies is genealogy. In 1689 a law was created in Sweden that the church should register everyone in Sweden. This had been done in parts of Sweden since the end of the 15th century. All births, baptisms, deaths and so on. Every year the priest visited every home and checked if they could read and write and how knowledgeable they were regarding the Bible. I have access to all those books digitally, so I took and researched Greta's family. On August 2nd, 1816, a boy named John Peter Nilsson was born. His father's name was Nils Peter Pettersson. At this time, most people got their surname after the father's first name. The father's name was Nils Petter, so the son was given the name Nilsson, so Nils son. And here you see the page in the book where John Petter's birth was registered. And this book, you see the family, and this is one of the books that were used by the priest when they visited families. John Petter moved from home 1839. This is uh, from the church book when John Petter have started his own family. And in connection with his starting his own family, he changed his surname to Thunberg. So, he did this in the 1840s. So why did he choose the name Thunberg? Here is the cover from the church book where his birth is recorded. The parish where he was born and lived his whole life is called Tuna. So he 
added a H, so it become Tun, and added Berg, which means mountain. So then he got Thunberg. So is Greta related to Carl Peter Thunberg? No, absolutely not. And is she related to Adam Weisenhoff? No, she is not. I have carefully checked this one too. So these two claims are rubbish, it's lies, and I've proven it. Svante Arrhenius' mother was Carolina Christina Thunberg, born 1820, when John Petter Thunberg was four years old. Her father came from the same parish as Greta's family and took the name of the same reason, the name of the parish. Please note, I have researched down to about 7050 and have not found any relationship between Greta and any of the three people that Awaken claims that she is related to. Yes, I have made a decision. Awaken is 
a conspiracy nutcase. He is a science denier and he are a liar. Okay, let's move on. I don't think Awaken had an easy time at school. Mathematics was probably not his best subject, which he proves in this short video. Oh, I'm speechless. Is he kidding his viewers or is he really this ignorant in math? What do you think? Today I received four drones express delivery and I already have sent them to Ukraine. Thank you everyone who helps me help Ukraine. If you want to help me please use PaleParl. They are in desperate need of more drones. Okay that was all I had for you this time. I hope you liked it. If you did please subscribe, become a member or just come back next time I'm showing a video. Have a lovely weekend all, see you all again on Monday, bye.